Hi there, I'm Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. Welcome to this video about linking to ActiveMS Project Task in Milestones Professional. Right now I've got a Milestones Professional schedule set up with the correct date range of the tasks that I want to bring over from Project. So I'm going to go over to Project and I'm going to select some tasks. Um, first I'll just give an example of a single task. So I'll just do this task right here, uh, this very first task. I'm just going to select it in project, so kind of click on this little row number um, over here, or you can just kind of highlight the whole task uh, with your mouse. Uh, but now that that task is selected, I'm going to go back over to Milestones, and I'm actually going to right-click inside one of these cells. So inside an actual column, I'm going to right-click on a cell. And you should see two options here, so link to active MS project task with unique ID. Um, I'm not going to do that one. That does the Kind of default options or whatever your previous options were. I'm going to do this link to active MS project task uh, with the three dots. And then it should kind of pop up with a little dialogue here um, that'll give you some options. So uh, important thing I want to have checked is tag task rows. I'm going to have that checked and this should actually be unique ID. So this tag with ID. So I'm going to change that. It should be the first option there. Uh, unique ID. That's how it's going to be linked back to uh, Microsoft Project if you want to refresh it later. And add symbology to schedule. Uh, that's also important to have checked. That way we can actually bring over the uh, symbols and bars to kind of show that task on the schedule. And uh, you have a couple options here. So on single row, that's going to be if you're bringing over multiple tasks uh, kind of to a swim lane uh, type thing. It'll bring them all onto that single row. Uh, but I'm going to choose on new rows. Um, so it's actually going to tag the whole row with whatever task um, or tasks you've got selected. That way you can add fields uh, from project later if you want to. So I'm going to make sure I have tag task, task rows checked, uh, add symbology to schedule checked, and I'm going to choose a standard symbology right here and click set up. And uh, I think by default, it's going to have like uh, use best symbols and bars selected and probably it'll say like milestone finish. I'm actually going to bring over the bar start and finish. So I'm going to choose uh, bar start and finish. And then I'm going to say choose symbols and bars. Then I can actually pick which row in the toolbox um, that I want to use. So it's going to be this uh, toolbox over here on the right. So if I want to use this first row, um, I'll just move that down to one. And then you should see those uh, symbols and bar kind of selected there. And you also have the option to tag uh, symbol text or notes. So if you have this unchecked, then you know it's just going to ignore these options. So make sure if you want to bring over text, you've got that checked. So you can see line one, it says name, uh, and that's going to be on the start symbol. So I'm just going to keep that uh, option selected. Make sure you don't have it also on the finish. Um, you'll probably just want to do one or the other. Uh, right there. So I'm going to press OK. And <clears throat> then uh, I think right here I'm going to press Finish. And then it kind of brought over that task um, to the schedule. So if I actually click on the Start symbol, for instance, um, I can go over to the Symbol Links sub tab and I can see it's actually linked to Unique ID 5 and it's using the Start date, and it's got that name field for that first line of symbol text. So you can actually refresh this schedule now. Um, you know, it's just a single task, but you could go through the refresh process and you could bring over uh, the correct date to your milestone schedule. Um, another cool thing is if you've got this, uh, I've just got an extra just blank text column here. I can actually select that column heading and <clears throat> You can switch this column uh, instead of just being just a regular text column. You can actually choose uh, a field here. So if I wanted to bring over the name field, for instance, to choose name. And since I've got my project schedule still open, uh, it's going to pop up with this little dialog asking me if I want to populate that uh, column. So I can just press finish. And then you can see it brought over the name field um, from the project file that's still open and it just kind of automatically populated. Um, so just to go through that uh, really quickly again, I'll just do another example here. I'll just select uh, just a few more tasks so I can actually select multiple tasks. And 
I'll just have these highlighted. And then I'll go back to Milestones. And I'm going to right click on the next cell. And instead of the, uh, the option with dot, 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 I'm just going to repeat that, um, that option that I just did. So I'm going to say link to active MS project task with unique ID. And it's just going to repeat the previous options uh, that I just did. So I'm going to choose that. And it kind of communicates with project. And then you can see it just added those tasks um, to my milestone schedule. And just one more example, I'm actually going to just keep those tasks highlighted in project and bring them in again to the same row. So um, I'm going to right click on this next row. Actually, I'll just kind of expand it a little bit so we know it's like kind of a swim lane. And I'm going to right click um, in this row in that cell and choose link to active MS project task. And I think just to keep it simple, all I'm going to change is just on single row. So I'm going to bring in the start and finish uh, with the bars and the text in the same place. Uh, but I'm going to do on single row and it's not actually going to tag the row so you won't be able to bring over, uh, you know, a name field. It's assuming that, uh, you know, you've got multiple tasks on this row. So you probably, you know, don't want to link it to an actual unique ID in the field itself. So I'm just going to press uh, finish. And then you can see it brought over all the tasks into that same row. So I could just actually give this a name here, call that like swim lane, update cell text. And since this um, row is a little bit wider, I can actually select the start symbol and hold shift and press up or down on my keyboard to just kind of move these tasks around, um, kind of space them out so they look uh, a little bit nicer maybe. <clears throat> okay, um, I think that's pretty much it for this video about uh, linking to active MS project task. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to visit our website at kidasa.com and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.